Chapter 11 Ramesh and Suresh When this body was a student in Urvakonda, the three of us, namely myself, Ramesh and Suresh, used to sit on one desk in the classroom. Ramesh was the son of a Sirastadhar, a revenue official of the state government. Suresh was the son of a revenue inspector, a state government official. I used to sit in the middle with Ramesh and Suresh on either side of me. Both of them were from well-to-do families to some extent, but they were very dull in studies, scoring poor marks in all subjects. I used to help them in the class. Whenever the teachers asked them questions, I used to write the answers quickly on a piece of paper and hold it in front of them. They will read that answer with one eye and repeat it to the teachers and win their appreciation. Thus, I used to help those two boys always. Finally, they came to the conclusion that there was none else except Raju who could come to their rescue. A lot of transformation took place in their hearts on account of my darshan, sparshan and sambhashan, sight, touch and speech. Their mental relationship with me has been growing day by day. They used to bring some eatables like pakoras for me from their houses now and then. But I used to refuse them saying, I am a person who only gives, never takes. If there is no give and take relationship between us, our friendship will last forever. If I take anything from you, I will be indebted to you. Hence, I will not take anything from you. Once, we had to write our ESLC examination. My friends Ramesh and Suresh were very much afraid of facing the examination. They approached me and said, Raju, you alone are our refuge. I told them, What is the use of fearing the examination? Be bold and face the examination. They both requested me to help them in the examination. I could not say no if someone sought my help. I promised to help them. I prepared them one day in advance about the possible questions and their answers. At last, the day of our examination arrived. On that day, we had to sit in the examination hall quite at a distance from one another as per the seating arrangements. Our roll numbers were so. Hence, there was no possibility at all for them to copy the answers from my answer sheet. Therefore, they informed me that they would not attend the examination. Then, I counseled them saying, Having attended the classes till now, it is a mistake to avoid the examination. We have to face them boldly, irrespective of the result. You repose unflinching faith in me. Face the examination with confidence. The rest, I will look after. I will never let down someone who reposes faith in me. There may be people in this world who have tasted failure due to lack of faith, but no one has failed in his endeavors who reposed faith in God. There may be some ups and downs in life sometimes, but ultimately they will succeed. The answer sheets were given to us on the day of the examination. We were not allowed to take anything inside the examination hall. After we entered the examination hall, the teachers thoroughly checked our pockets for any possible bits of paper and our hands for any writings. It was a common practice with the teachers in those days to conduct such intense search to find out whether students wrote some answers on bits of paper or on their hands. In the meanwhile, one teacher came there and told the teacher conducting this check, Kondapa, who do you think these boys are? They belong to Raju's group. They don't indulge in such malpractices as stealing and copying. They always tread the right path. The teacher Kondapa then replied, I also know about it. The radiance in that boy's face itself reveals the truth. We went into the examination hall. That was the first day of our examinations. Since our roll numbers were quite afar, we three had to sit at considerable distance from one another. Ramesh and Suresh, therefore, were very much afraid. So I assured them, You don't worry. I will write your answer sheets as well along with mine. 
they will be in your own handwriting. Just do as I say. I will conduct the rest of the play. I am the director of the cosmic play. The entire universe dances to my tune. Can I not conduct this small play? I assured them once again. You do not at all worry about the examination. Since you reposed your faith in me, I will surely make you successful in the examination. I also revealed to them a plan of action for achieving our aim. I told them, As you enter the examination hall, you will be given an answer sheet. You will also be given the question paper. You take them and sit in your respective places according to your rule numbers. The rest I will look after. They used to obey my command in every aspect. They never flouted my instructions. As per our plan, Ramesh and Suresh sat in their respective places and pretended to write something. I finished writing my answers in just half an hour. I also wrote the answer sheets of Ramesh and Suresh in their respective handwritings in another one hour. Thus, all the three answer sheets were ready in one and a half hour's time. I wrote our names and roll numbers on the concerned answer sheets. In the meanwhile, the bell rang. The teacher hastened us, saying, Time is over. Return your answer sheets. All the students got up from their seats and rushed towards the table of the teacher in a group to hand over their answer sheets. It was not possible for anyone to make out who was handing over whose paper. I asked Ramesh and Suresh to go out and then placed the answer sheets of all three of us on the teacher's table and silently walked out. When we came out, all the boys surrounded us and inquired from Ramesh and Suresh as to how they wrote the examination, what questions they answered, etc. They replied that they wrote something. There was one good quality in them, that they never spoke lies. They also never disobeyed my command. They had firm faith in me. The results of our examinations were announced after some time. All three of us secured first class with more than 95% marks. Our headmaster wrote, Very, very, very good on our papers. Since we sat quite far from each other in the examination hall, there was no possibility at all to think that Ramesh and Suresh had copied from my answer sheet. Further, our answer sheets were in our respective handwritings giving no scope for any doubt. Ramesh and Suresh were struck with wonder at my capabilities. They realized that Raju was not an ordinary boy and could do anything. They therefore came to me and expressed their gratitude, saying, Raju, it is only because of you we could get a first class. The citizens of Urvakonda town celebrated that occasion on a grand scale by carrying us on their shoulders in a procession through the streets. Our classmates, their parents and several others garlanded us. While we were being taken in a procession through the town, Ramesh and Suresh hung their heads in embarrassment. I told them, You have not stolen anybody's property, right? Come on, lift your heads up. I infused courage and confidence in them. After some time, the teacher asked the same questions that appeared in the examination in the classroom. None of the students could answer them, including Ramesh and Suresh, though they secured first class in the examinations. I had already warned them that they should not reveal to anyone what had happened in the examination hall. I advised them, if anybody makes an inquiry, you just tell him that you wrote whatever had come to your mind at that time. They did accordingly. Those two boys used to be very close to me. They had so much love and affection for me even at that young age.